Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pikyupo and right now we are in Roblox Studios uh, which is um, which is a software where you can create games that you can then publish on Roblox. So right now I'm in my project. This project is called Dingle Dong City, Nebraska. Now if you watched um, the video where if you watched the video where I talk about the definitely factual history of Nebraska, I talk about how that video was sponsored by Dingle Dong City. In McPherson County, Nebraska, and so this is Dingle Dong City. So it's not a complete project yet, but I just wanted to show you, show you guys. So now you spawn over here, basically. So you spawn over here, and the first thing you see are these signs over here: Dingle Dong, Nebraska, two week curfew on 6 p.m. The hometown of love. New Yorkers will be shot on sight. Uh, from here, the nearest things are uh, the 7-Eleven over here, which has working automatic doors, uh, this pizza place over here, and uh, just a second, my computer is lagging. Uh, this weird clothing store over here, which has a tank on top of it, which is an actual working tank that you can... Uh, control if you do manage to get it off the thing and we have this grocery store which you can't actually enter because it is permanently closed due to pubic hair poisonings uh, anyway um, over here we have the parking lot and as you can see there are a lot of cool stuff in this parking lot just has you know few cars we have this car the Krabby Patty car uh, the all-american Jeep and we have you know the the baby car and we have you know those one of those toy cars that you can drive um, I'm pretty sure you can drive all of these cars yeah you can even drive the the baby car you can drive the toy car you can drive the all-American car, even the Krabby Patty. The Krabby Patty, the, the Krabby Patty car is pretty fast. Anyway, from here, uh, you can cross the road and go here, where you know there's a little sitting area. You have an American flag, of course, and we have this guy eating a donut. And if you go through here, um, ignore that. Um, if you go through here, through the woods, you should run into, not over here, yeah, over here. You should run into this little cabin over here. The amazing gravity defined cabin, because as you can see, even though the top, even though the front legs of the cabin are touching the ground, the back legs are not, which, you know, makes gravity defying. Now comes with its own bear trap. And this over here is a working telescope, by the way, that you can use. Anyway, if you jump up over here, climb the stairs, you can find the spare trap over here, which actually does work, and, uh, and it's not resettable, as um, as I found out. And you know, you can't actually use this toilet because you know it's a toilet in the middle of the woods. So of course, you can't use it. And you know, they apologized for this crappy inconvenience. Over here, we have a quaint little win window. And over here we have beds. And of course, what's a cabin without photos? So over here we have a photo of Jesus Christ, Vladimir Lenin, and um, Floppa. <laughs> um, and we have the only singular source of light in this room. Anyway, around the cabin are you know more trees. And over here you can find the you can find another toilet. This this toilet was graciously funded by Vladimir Lenin of Russia, hence the reason why we have this picture up over here. Now, if you go inside this inside this toilet, um, which, let me see, yep, uh, you can find the actual toilet, and you should be just a second. Um. Yeah, you should be able to see this pretty stained glass window over here, which is a really nice thing to look at. 
you know, when you're taking the crap. Anyway, what else is there? Oh yeah, over here, you have a factory that it also does not touch the ground. And in this factory, what do they create? I have no idea, if I'm being honest with you. It's just a big empty space. Uh-huh. And if you go over here, you should be, you should find the only courtroom in this entire, uh, the only court in this entire city. And uh, if you go up steps, I'll show you something. Yeah, there's actually stuff inside the courtroom. So you have this nice fountain thing over here. If you go over here, it's just, you know, a work area. If you go through this thing, you should find more work areas and stack of papers over here. And if you go through this part, you can find the actual courtroom. <clears throat> and over here, you have the grand jury. You have, you know, Mario. You have Donald Trump. And you have Homer Simpson as Homer Simpson is district attorney, uh, Donald Trump is the judge, and Mario is the assistant judge. And over here you have the high ranks, which are the people who just sit up on top, the defense, prosecution, and jury, and the grand jury. Anyway, uh, that's a lovely courtroom. Um, if you go down over here to this street, you'll find You'll find this office building over here called dingledongsecurity.co. You can actually go inside this office building. Uh, yeah, but it's just this thing, this empty room. Anyway, and if you go behind the office building, you'll find a parking lot which is also filled with mostly working cars. Some of these cars don't actually work, but most of them should. You know, we have the normal cars, we have a Minecraft car over here, we have the McDonald's car, we have the we have hamburger car, which I think is also owned by McDonald's, I don't know. And, and let me see. Yep, it's also owned by McDonald's. We have a military car, we have a wagon over here, another the baby car, we have a police car, and an army car an army car with the gun on top of it and another police van over here we have a duck car which actually works then over we over here we have a burning wrecked car which does not work and oh yeah another wrecked car over here as well and speaking of you know police cars and stuff this is the police station a uh, fun fact uh, these police members yeah they will actually shoot you on sight so uh, hopefully you're armed before you go into the police station, otherwise you're gonna get wrecked. Anyway, this is the back door to the police station. We have the... These are all armed guards, They'll, they will shoot you. We have the jail, where you have the... We have an inmate over here. Uh, let's see, what else? Are there more inmates? Should be. Uh, nope, this place is... This cell is empty, and... This cell is empty. This wait no. Yep. And yep, we have two guys over here as well. One of them. One of them is wait. Sorry. Oh god damn. Yeah, one of them is really angry. The other one's pretty chill. The thing is that when you start this game, since both since all the prisoners are also NPCs, the guards they'll start going and shooting up the prison. Yeah. Um, Luckily, they don't leave the premises of the prison a lot, so you'll have time to explore before you get shot up. You have the reception over here, and you have the armory, where you can't really buy anything. And what else do you have? Yeah, you have the reception, uh, the rare exit, the jail, the armory, the locks. Anyway. Moving on, we yeah, this is the Dingledong Police Station. Uh, some of the letters have fallen off, and so instead of Police Station, it says All Tecton. Uh, we have the graveyard right in front of it. You know, there's just random gap in the fence over here, and 
we have St. Babadelm's Cemetery, home to Martyrs. And we have the Coffin Dancing guys from Ghana. And over here we have the graves. Over where you can desecrate a bunch of stuff. Anyway, what else should I show you? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, over here. We have a restaurant over here, the Los Pollos Hermanos. And if you go inside, you... Yeah, it's also empty. Let me go inside this thing. Yep, um, it's also empty. And over here, you have a dead end. Road closed. And over here, you can see it's because two cars crashed. Uh, fun fact, you can, you can actually fall off this map, so don't get any ideas. Um, over here, we have, you know... A picture of picture of Herobrine. I'm sorry, not a picture, a statue. And over here we have a flag of Nebraska. Now if you go over here, you have a random homeless man who's floating in the air. I don't know why he's floating in the air. Let me try fixing that. Oh yeah, he should be okay now. Anyway. Game slacking a bit. Anyway, going over to the North Pond Reserve, which is, you know, a community of homes. Um, all of these homes, you can actually go inside. Like, they all the doors work and all the amenities should be working. Like, I, like the piano and the TV don't work, but like, you, you can go inside, sit and stuff, and then explore the backyard and stuff. Like, there are actual rooms in these things. Yeah, so you sort of go like this. Some of these homes are, you know, slightly different. You know, this one has a fountain in the front yard. Uh, yeah, we have this, you have this and that. And over here, there's a community, community fountain, a community park, if you will. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there's this statue over here of the South Park characters with the South Park sign, but it's edited to say Dingle Dong, Nebraska. Anyway. Oh yes, this is this is a random statue over here. This is a tree house at which you can actually climb up and look at stuff. Like there are lighting sources over here and all. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, over here, there is the Algonquin Terrace, which is, you know, a more upper-class community. For some reason, it isn't gated. And, you know, all of them have, you know, very high-class homes, probably worth over a million dollars. You know, places which look like modern architecture. Basically, a rich people neighborhood. Now, this one has... An American flag in the middle, along with an American army flag in the middle. Um, most of these houses are the same. This one has a bouncy castle, which actually works, which is cool. This one has a Robux new on top of it. And at the end of the street, there's a fitness gym where there's this guy over here. Does he... Does he do anything? No. They're all NPCs. They don't really interact. No, we have Buff New. We have Buff Floppa. We have, we have this fat guy over here who is probably not having a good time right now. Uh, then there's this guy, which... If I'm, if I'm correct, you can interact with this guy. Anyway, you have the... Roller coaster over here, which doesn't actually work, so I'm gonna have to take that out. And you have another factory over here, because you know, industrialization. There's a car spawner over here where you can spawn cars, so you can't run out of if you manage to crash all these cars, or if you manage to get rid of all these cars, then you can still have cars with you. Some of these some of these cars don't work. There's a flying car over here, which I think is pretty cool. This is the 
John B. Roosevelt's Plastic Factory, now sponsored by pre Premium Child Labor. Uh, over here you have a sniper, which I don't think works, and you have a businessman. Now, if you look over here, you'll find the Kilobyte High School, where failures meet their doom. And you can actually go inside the high school and you have, you know, lockers and stuff. You have... You have a guy wearing a university shirt, the Roblox University shirt. Uh, you can go in, you have the music room, which has some nerd over here. You have the boys' restroom, which is eerily clean for some reason. Like, you don't ever expect the boys' restroom to be clean. You have the computer lab, which is a computer lab. Duh. And then you have, what is this room? The girls' bathroom? I think so. And you have the geometry, social studies, language arts room, where you have PewDiePie and a skating chair. I don't know why I added that. The principal is spelled wrong. And then you have the principal's room, where the principal does not exist, apparently. And after that, you have the, what is this room? And this room is probably, yeah, another classroom. Anyway, that's Kilobyte High School. Um, and you have a, you know, a parking lot over here for the kids. Um, yeah, the Amogus car, which actually works. Uh, some of these cars do work. There's a, there's a working tank over here. And, you know, there's a car crash over here as well. Because, you know, that's common in student parking lots. Then over here you have one of my favorite builds because this is not a this is not a stock building. I actually built this. This is called the U.S. Weapon Store 6335, which is a gun store. And if you look up here, there's a nukes for kids. Buy now before your parents find out. The board, which I think is funny. Uh, I forgot if this car works. Uh, I couldn't get a working door over here, so I just put on that I had a door over here. I I and I put a notice saying door broken by maniac. Please excuse the openness. Uh, over here, if you look over here, we have J um, for, uh, a portrait of former President James Madison, who had a part in the glorious Second Amendment. Then you have the portrait of the founder of the uh, gun shop. His name is Annie Man Studios. That's a really weird name. You have Captain America over here, who really doesn't do much. You have gun spawners over here, which means you don't actually need to buy the guns. You can just spawn them. This is a huge variety of guns. There's a sword spawner over here, but but I don't think that works. There's a there are targets over here. You wanna if you wanna practice. Then you have the register guy. His name is Albin, and you can actually interact with this guy. He has pretty funny pretty funny dialogue. If you go up the stairs, you can go onto the roof of the building where, you know, not much. There's just a billboard, there's a vent, what else is there? Yeah, nothing except for these, um, you know, ACs over here or whatever you call them. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a weather vane over here, which I don't think actually works because there's no wind in this game. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, uh, this Dingle Dong City also is home to the only Tunisian embassy in the United States. So this is the Tunisian embassy, you can, you can see why it is the Tunisian embassy by the Tunisian flag. There are a few cars over here, you know, for the people. And if you go inside, yeah, there's the emblem of Tunisia over here. Let's see what else is there. Yep, there's a desk over there and another desk over there. And after that, yeah, nothing much. It's a pretty small embassy. There is a drugstore over here where you, it's pretty empty. You know, it's just stuck building, pretty empty. I don't know why they have a cafeteria over here. Beats me. And over here, you have near the rich people neighborhood you have the hospital uh, the hospital is 
place where you can go inside, but you know, there's not much inside there. Then we have another homeless man over here, whose, bur whose burger I think you can steal, maybe not. Um, we have a tavern over here. Um, you know, whatever it's called, there's a tavern over here. Um, there's a gas station over here, which I forgot to show you guys. It does not work, but it, there is a gas station. What does what this billboard say? Um, out for Bloxy Cola. Okay. Uh, there's a random fountain over here. I uh, know, yeah, there is a statue of Shrek, which I think is very important to point out. And there is a school over here. What is the school called? Dingledong Elementary. Anyway, there's a school called Dingledong Elementary. Uh, there's this guy over here, security guard. You can go through the doors. Room number 202. Um, which show the elements of a successful game. And after that, there's room 101. Um, which I think is a lot of Roblox code. You know, there are rooms in this room this, in this school. You go inside the principals. Yep, the principals is also empty. I should probably add a few NPCs into this game. Over here, you have this weird conglomerate of stuff. Over here. Um, you, may, you may be asking yourselves, what is this? Wait, what is this? Wait, what is, why is there random fire over here? And whatever it is, um... You know. Uh, anyway, this is... What do you call this thing? Her name over here. Yeah, this is Urban Trout Hill. Uh, picnics are punishable by 10 years. Anyway, I don't know, I, I don't know why I put a Brazilian flag over here, I just put it there. Uh, property of Dingledong City, so that means it's, you know, public. You can actually sleep over here, and over here you have a picture of the Bobcat. Anyway, it's, this is just a bunch of wacky terrain. You can actually climb over it if you want to explore it. But no, picnics, but no picnics, though. They are punishable by 10 years, remember? Um, what else is there over in this area? Oh yeah, there's the McDonald's over here, but I flipped the sign, so now it reads as though it's whack Donuts. Uh huh. There's a gang hideout over here. There's a gang hideout. They're the most feared of the city. Uh, they're comprised of some these gangsters, a gun spawner, a what is this? Whatever that is, Colonel Cole. And Michael Jackson. They have a TV. They have sleeping mats. I'm sorry, sleeping mattresses. They have sofas and what else do they have? Yeah, they have this. Uh, I don't think they're active NPCs, so you can shoot them, but they won't shoot you back. Well, um, let's see what else is there. Oh uh, yeah, I should probably show you this. So this is one of the biggest builds. Not not a build, just a stock thing. Well, well, before showing that, I should probably show you this. This is just you know a research facility for the government. They secretly put over here. You can see the amount of soldiers and security guards. What's actually in there? It's just this small sort of cabin, and you have the anti anti whatever. And you have this sort of thing over here. Yeah, this is pretty quaint. Do you say so myself? Oh, look, they have a tiny bathroom as well. It's kind of nice. Anyway, the big thing. This is a this is a military base right in Dingledown City. I, I'm pretty sure there's a sign up here. 
you go over here... Yeah, there's... Oh, I have no idea what this is, why this thing is here. Let's delete that. And what, what is this? Uh, let's ignore that, shall we? You know, that's me. Past thing. Anyway, we have the John Dingle, the Dingle Nut US military base over here. Um, mm -hmm. and the you can't actually get into the military base in reality. So what I did for you guys to get into it was that I I made up the terrain so that you can climb up this thing and then you can jump in here. So through that way you can get in here. Now you have these things. You have there's a Humvee somewhere over here. You have these helicopters, which I don't think actually work. And then you have a tank over here. And you would. Yeah, there's a. Just a second. Yep, you have a plane over here, which I don't think works. And then you have a random missile over here. Ain't that nice? Um, you have the army headquarters. You have these guys, that's a soldier, this guy's a Russian soldier, uh, uh, to be precise, a Soviet soldier, uh, I don't know why I added him here, you have this military truck, and you know, it's a pretty big military base, lots of things for you guys to explore once I publish this thing, um, high school, yeah, that's the world. But anyway, I put the big thing for last. Um, so this this map is not just you know exploration and all. Just, I need to you know add actual gameplay. This is just the starter thing. You know, if you don't want to go to gameplay immediately, you can just explore the entire area, have a lap or two. Over here is where. If you were looking for objectives, then step right up. And then you can interact with this guy. Um, and you can do this <laughs> if you want to uh, purposefully off yourselves. You know, there's a door code over here. It is suggested that one must be armed with a weapon. Weapons can be found in the gun shop. No, the door code is this, the Q word of that. There's nothing behind this thing yet, but I'm planning on adding more things soon. So yeah, that's my, you know, build in Roblox Studio, uh, Dingle Dong City, Nebraska. If you, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should add, or what I should delete, or what I should change, please add them below. Um, also add what do you think of this map, and, you know, have a nice day. Uh, goodbye, gentlemen.